group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged. And the question came up, well, why is it not the reality for black women? I know y'all not going to like what I got to say, but you know me, I'm going to say it anyways. First and foremost, black women are above reproach. If it don't validate us or excuse our bad behavior, we don't want to hear. Instead, we'll say, well, men do it too. Secondly, we'll find every excuse in the world to validate why we don't want to be married or why we don't want to be in a relationship. Well, they get cheated on. Well, they do this. Well, they do that. But then we have all these standards for men and we're still actively seeking for men in the midst of our hurt while inadvertently telling them to go to therapy. We do not practice what we preach. Thirdly, the independent woman is a myth. Actually cared about being independent and it was something that made you happy. You would not have all these standards to negate your independence. Nobody wants to relinquish power find every excuse in the world to not be submissive and wonder why white women can get away with their bad behavior. We take everything bad from white women except for the fact using marriage to our own benefit. But you'll run to the child support office though. Get equality against men and the only time we actually want to be equal to men is when it comes to degenerate behavior, hypersexuality, abusing or abandoning children. Even when it comes to the gold digger conversation. What you don't see those other women do, even when they are just screwing men for money, is bashing men and inadvertently making men feel like they're not important. Also too, telling them that they don't need men. Psychologically, we have been taught to disassociate ourselves. And even in that Malcolm X quote where he says the black woman is the most disrespected, he also says to be near your man. Cause who taught you to hate the very race that <laughs> yeah, actually a, cared about being in she said a mouthful but i want to say shalom uh first thing and foremost i'm gonna give out praises and glory and honor as due to yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim rakakodash i'm allowed to get double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone and rule and teach well blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect knows in his gods but rather of them to stand on the behalf of shim yahweh shai or every may be um this is a quick lesson through the spirit. Uh, Lord's will to be edifying. Um, it says, listen up, Eve. You got this um, woman here at the top, and she was basically making a comparative analysis about how Edomite women are married and usually stick with their husbands versus the Eve, you know, the Judite woman. And um, it's clearly a night and day contrast because, I mean, honestly speaking, every point she made in this video was, like, literally on point. You know what I'm saying? And I can't even, like, cap and say that it's... She wasn't. Uh, it says, woman asks why other women of her race are least married. Well, she mentioned black women. They make horrible wives, man. Okay? They make horrible wives. Okay? Their attitudes, man. Their priorities. You know, their 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 pride. You know what I'm saying? Their haughtiness. Their, their indiscretion. And, you know, and the list goes on as to why uh, black women are being put last. Okay? You're not the desired woman that everybody wants to be with anymore. And you really technically never was since your fall of your femininity. You know, since you become feminist and fascist, nobody has really wanted to deal with the black woman outside of, uh, 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 uh say it like this, uh, uh, a plutonic, I wouldn't even say, hmm, what did I say, strictly plutonic, or if I could just say like a casual situation, I'll say it that way, okay? A casual situation, basically friends with benefits, because they know the hypersexuality of black women, like, you could just go out and you can see it, you know, they're very uh, provocative, you know what I'm saying, they're promiscuous, you know, they're loud, you know what I'm saying, they have attitudes, they don't smile, like, and even the Edomite woman here, you know, just in general, it's just like, women are not friendly, you know, and it's just to the point that I've seen men lower their standards and lower themselves in their, in their manhood just to get attention from women, and that's not the way to go. You know, sometimes I'll go out and I people watch and I watch and I watch interactions and I kind of peep what people are saying to people to get them to harness some type of favor in them. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, bro, you ain't have to do all that because now you did that. Now you making it worse for the next guy, which it shouldn't technically be no other guy to do and talk to you and got what he got to get from you. It shouldn't be no other guy. But we know that this is a chaotic world, you see. But I'm like in my mind, I'm like, you ain't got to do all that, man. You know, Jake just being extra with women. You know, you want to follow them everywhere they go. Look, man, you get it and get to the point. Like, if you like her, like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got time to be entertaining no bitch, bro. Like, I mean, I talk to her, whatever. And if, you know, she's talking a good game, my game, then that, yeah, it's all good. But, like, if she's already showing that she's choosing and that she's just basically, like, she sees a better catch, then I'm not even finna... I'm not finna go to a table where women and entertain. I'm not finna do that shit, man. You gotta show, literally, you. You have to be my type vibe for real. 
Okay, and I'm not going to say the other way. I got to be your vibe. Nah, fuck that shit, man. You got to be on the same wavelength as my mom if we going to have some type of connection. You know what I'm saying? Express some interest. Because other than that, I'm not going to sit up there and go. Because most of them want you to come up and talk to them just so they can fucking curb you. And I mean, I'm not going to do that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jake, you waste time on women and you don't even get them. It's like, what? why? You know? Because they have that, they have that, uh, that, that complex about them. You know, so really these women, they're not wives, man. And everything she's saying in this video is 100% on point. You know, she says that um, women, are, they're above correction. That's right. We call a black woman out on our bullshit. Guess what? <clears throat> you got the potential of being shot at or locked up. Okay? They cannot take accountability because their pride. They have puffed themselves up on a, on a horse to the point that, hey, only person that can really knock them down is the most high. Okay? With validation from these simps. And uh, uh, basically get out of jail free cars for East from Esau. You can't tell these women a damn thing, man. You know, this is why, honestly speaking, brothers, is, you know, hey, have, I mean, you know, it's, it's to your discretion. But honestly, don't even take take this shit serious. You can't overly invest in it, man. You know. But anyway, uh, what, what she says here, she says. Oh, OK, never mind. I thought it was some caption here. Yep, she said that. Matter of fact, let's go back and listen to it. Secondly, we will find every excuse in the world to validate why we don't want to be married or why we don't want to be in a relationship. Well, they get cheated on. Well, yeah, yeah, right. And the fact, oh, well, you know, nigga, he can't take care of me and my kids. I don't want to deal with him. Uh-uh, nah, girl. He got to have money. He got to do this. He got to do that. And the reality of it is nobody really wants to marry your ass because your attitude sucks. Your attitude is horrible, Keisha. Okay, I mean, your attitude, I mean, I, I see the young chicks, man, the, the 17, 18, or 19, 20, I mean, they walking around with this candy cane wig on their heads, man, these long bear claws, mouth poked out, it's like, goddamn, like, like, be friendly, you know what I'm saying, smile, you know, but yet they give their attention to, to, to these, one of these degenerates out here, these niggas that's running in, stealing iPhones for the whole hood, these are the men that they chase out there, and wonder why it doesn't work. Okay, so this woman, she's completely on point with everything she's saying. You know, all right, so let's go to the book of uh, Micah 7. Nah, I'm going to come back there. Uh, Micah, uh, Salak is Sirach 26. And I'm going to start at verses, uh, let's start at verses uh, 8. It says, Woe is him that dwelleth with the wife of understanding, and have that have not slipped with his tongue, and that have not served the man more unworthy than himself. Like, yeah, man. If you have a woman that has some understanding about some role, that makes some shit, that makes shit so much easier. When she understands her role, she understands. Look, man, I pick up the slack. When she takes the slack and the and the and the fucking heavy weights off your shoulders, bro, that shit is like a blessing, man. You know what I'm saying? And too many Jakes ain't got that. Some brothers have that, but a lot of Jakes don't have that, man, because it's always okay. I did this for you. What you gonna do for me now? You know what I'm saying? It's never just genuine. Like, okay, I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna serve you. And even if it is at that point, you feel guilty about it because it's like, damn, you've been broken down by the emotions of Babylon. Now you gonna let that woman do all that. Man, look, if she wanna cook, clean, take your laundry, you know what I'm saying, and bring you food and go to the store for you, then let her fucking do that shit. That's what she's there for anyway. Quiet is kept. Okay, don't let these women give y'all ultimatums. Well, you know, you need to be doing... And I'm not saying that if she's doing those things, don't take care of it. Make sure she's cool. If she want money or, you know, she wants to do some things, then yeah. Bless her with those things. I mean, she's deserving of it. You know, if she's doing the right thing by you. You know, like the Lord has said, it says, what father or what father gives a son a, a stone? If he's done, roughly paraphrasing it. Like, what father gives a son a, son a stone? Like, if he does good works that pleases, then you take care of it. You know, like you do the work of the heavy father, then y'all will see down the line, you will start to reap the blessings that the Lord has given you, man. You know, see, contrary to pop opinion, brothers, the work that we do does come with blessings here and there. OK, we feel so bad and guilty when the Lord allows us to get nice things or he sends something that's helping your situation to give you an extra boost on a job with some finances and stuff like that. You start to feel like you're going off, but you have to understand the balance of this shit. Okay, if you're not doing anything that's deliberately putting yourself out there to go off, but you're doing the work of the Heavenly Father, then let the let the Heavenly Father bless you with things, man. Okay, you're worthy to get blessings too. Because I know off the time, you know, when you think of GMS, we're just in some dark rut, pissed off, knocking down walls and shit, you know, 
Oh, it's a sin to be blessed for the Lord. You know, that's what people think when they see us. They think that um, they think they think we think it's a sin to smile or to enjoy ourselves. They think that when they see Great Millstone. You know what I'm saying? You get blessed with something, all of a sudden you ain't a man of the Lord. Or you get a new car where you get a blessed with a house or some shit. Or the Lord gives you a raise or you get a better gig. Or the Lord actually sends you a good woman. You thinking, oh man, I almost fucked up. Nah, that ain't always the case. Especially if you not fucking up, bro. Like, Jake, stop being simple. Be spiritual minded, man. You know you're doing everything. You would cry to the Lord and the Lord gives you things. Then accept it, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to stop doing that shit. Lord, send me this and this and that. Man, spirit, like, look, man, some things is just, just what it is, like, and accept it, bro. Like, you do the work, you sincere, here, take this, it's not much, but take it. And you got to get every little lifeline in this fucking place, because, hey, it's going down, man. And when I say that, I'm meaning, like, you know, as far as, like, with help, because this place is through, man. It's hard for the men of the Lord out here. We don't have a, we don't have a, a, a habitat that's really supporting us, for real, outside of the, outside of the ministry, so... You know, we don't have like GoFundMe's and PayPal's and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like these other groups got promo codes, a hey, 20% off the Hebrew uh, textbook of, 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 of the whatever, man. We don't have that. We just go out and do the work and, if, you know, our followers decide to bless us with money or whatever charity or, you know, garments, then, hey, we accept it. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, there is a balance too. Now, if you out there trying to become a fucking... A multi-trillionaire, you're negating the work of the Lord, or if you putting the work of the Lord off to get your riches up, then that is off. Because the Lord, that, that's not blessings from the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, your part, your your main focus should be on this work. You know what I'm saying? This work alone, and then the Lord was going to add everything into you. As the scriptures say, seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, then all things should be added into you. So, hey, you brothers, man, you know, y'all haven't had women in y'all lives that did right. Hey, you sincere in the word of the Lord may send you a fucking help meet, man. I mean, it's possible. Yeah, we do say that, oh, well, ain't no women right. I mean, most of them not. But, I mean, you do have a few out there that will do the right thing. Okay? I mean, the Lord is going to save some women. So, you going to have some out there that's going to do the right thing. But the thing is, the Lord got to send them to you. Okay? You ain't just going to find this bitch at Target parking lot somewhere. <laughs> You know, I mean, they out there, but they have the they have to connect with your spirit and know what you are and what you are, so they can connect into it, man. You know, but these women, for the most part, they're through, they're trash. All right, but it says here, well, as him that have found prudence, and he that have speak it in the ears of them that were here, yeah, man, people that's accepting his word. You know, is when you have somebody that believes, man, and 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 thinks the same wavelength about how you feel about this thing, man, hey, that's a beautiful thing. Because that's less of a headache, bro. Versus somebody's acting like they with you and they ain't rocking with you for real. You know what I'm saying? They may be rocking with you for how you look or the thing or your talent, but overall, they ain't rocking with you because you're trying to do this thing that's sincere and true. Most women, they'll bail out on you when they know that you're an Israelite because of, of the, uh, they think that it's very strict. And really, it's really not. It's not even, it's, it's really not. It's, it's just, it's common sense, you know? But it says here, uh, oh, how great is he that findeth wisdom? It says, yet is there none above him that feared the Lord. But I'm going to go down here, 13. Give me the plague, but the plague of the heart. And any wickedness, but the wickedness of, the, of a woman. And the plague of the heart is the plague of the mind, man. You know, shit, men have lost their lives. They lost their, their mindset behind women. You know what I'm saying? Men fucking become homeless, suicidal. You know, that she takes you, your money, takes your kids. Here you're feeling worthless because you didn't invest it into something that wasn't really an investment material. Then you looking like, damn, then you feeling unworthy. You want to kill yourself. You feel like you let everybody down, including yourself. Why didn't I take heed to the warnings? Oh, man, everybody hates me. Ah, bro. You know, just, just got to live and learn. But it says, in any affliction, but the affliction of them that hate me, and any revenge, but the revenge of enemies. Okay, for there's no head above the serpent, and there's no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. That's right. But I had rather dwell with the lion and a dragon than to keep house with the wicked woman, right? And like she was saying, they're very combative, man. Versus you got the Edomite woman. Hey, at the end of the day, man, Jake, Jake, you have to understand this, man, okay? Yeah, the Edomite woman, and like Apostle Tar said, he said, look, that's how you know that a kingdom is losing when the woman, when the enemy's woman wants you. Yeah. See, Esau, Edomite women, they want us. They they love Jake. 
don't get it twisted. They would entertain Jake and and fly to the, you know what I'm saying, up and down the block with Jake. But guess what? At the end of the day, her man is still in power. Her man is still in power, man. All right? And don't you ever fucking forget that shit. The Edomite man still is in power, and she knows that. Okay, when when Keisha, I mean, when, when Eve, no. I mean, technically, Eve is Edomite. Edomite woman comes out of Eve, too. But when the Edomite woman looks at Jake, man, it's usually for fantasy and pleasure only. Because, I mean, for one thing, it ain't enough money you can give them. They have rich parents. Their boyfriends and their husbands are rich. And most of these Edomite women that 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 y'all be trying to talk to, a lot of them be having dudes, man. They say, look, here's my Snapchat or this is my IG. They don't fucking pursue the bitch, man. If she can't give you the number straightforward so y'all can link up and have an encounter, hey, use your fucking common sense, man. If a bitch is telling you to slide in the DM, that's adultery material. Like, Jake, y'all got to start thinking, man, all right? If she's telling you, look, either I want you to get my Instagram or my Snapchat, either she's not really fucking with you like that or she has somebody that she's dealing with, okay? And nine times out of ten, like, when a woman gives you her social media, that's a backfill. Like, when you have a, a queue of numbers, let's say if you can hold a, a hundred numbers in a queue and you take one call at a time, you're just added to the queue, man. You're probably the 1,200 guy she didn't gave that, that Instagram or that Facebook to that night. Okay, so start thinking, man. Okay, bitch, get to talking social media talk, then walk off, man. The fuck? Walk the fuck off, man. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly speaking, like, uh, then it's just my opinion. I could be wrong on that. But that screams adultery, man. And the bitch is setting you up for that shit. But Jake like, nah, man, you know, she, she, she. Man, all right, man, do what you do. Just don't come to me when, when bad shit happen because Jake didn't want to take heat. You know what I'm saying? If you can't get a casual and straightforward encounter and she can't, y'all can't exchange numbers or whatever, man, what the fuck I'm going to talk to you on IG for? Fuck I'm going to talk to you on Facebook or whatever platform. I'm not going to do that shit because I already know that ain't going to go nowhere. Okay? That's just not how this works, man. So it's... Start thinking, Jake. For real. But uh, uh, going down here, it says, The wickedness of a woman changing her face and darken her countenance like sackcloth. Okay? That's that uh, that, that that bipolar shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That flippy, that, that borderline personality. You know, which a lot of them suffer from it because they've engaged with other males, man. So a lot of times she takes on the identity of the 90 other dudes she didn't slept with prior to you. And this is one reason why black women don't make good wives. They just don't make good wives, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to be wives at that. They want to be free. Okay? They want to go up and down the street. They want to have their own money. They want to have their own homes, their own car. You are just there as a trophy dude. Okay? They want you to be a resource for when they need to lean on you. But other than that, bitch don't take pride in you having your own money. She don't, she's intimidated by that because she knows that you can do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they may, oh, yeah, I want a man that got his own shit. Yeah, she wants you to have your own shit so she can capitalize off of it when she needs to. But other than that, that don't make her feel like a woman because you got your own shit and she has her own shit at the end of the day. She's a little like, man, look, I got my shit and I want to be better than you. That's always a competition in that. And you could think this kingdom, you know, but it says here, her husband should sit among his neighbors and when he heareth it, should sigh bitterly. But all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her, man. So, hey, consider, yeah, we all had wicked women in our lives, man. Babe, you, you know, you getting lumped up with a lot of wicked women, then, hey, man, you know, hey, check that shit. You know, because I'm not saying that any brother that got wives that women or all these women are off as hell, but you should have one that's least that can work with you. You know what I'm saying? That you can work with. Somebody that's going to agree with you on 90, shit, 99 point. 9% of those things, even if she's not a believer. I mean, I've had and then seen Christian women that was more faithful and, and submissive than, than, than these Israelite women. It's, it's crazy. It's like, wait a minute. Here they are living a lie, but they understand submission. And a lot of it goes back into their upbringing, too. Like, when you have a, a mother and a, fa a father and a mother in the home, and oftentimes... Uh, and, and they together, and the wife submits to the husband, and she's going to teach our daughters. The scriptures say, teach the daughters to be wives, man, and love their husbands. Okay? Matter of fact, uh, nigga women 
Mary. That's enough. Timothy, yep. Because this is what our women, they, they should be why. All our women should be married, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they, you know, they should be, every man should have his own women, have his own wife. You know what I'm saying? Every woman, she's supposed to have her husband, you know? That way you won't have none of this P&L shit going on out here, man. It's crazy. You know, like these motherfuckers, they was cutting up last night uh, for this Super Bowl bullshit, man. You know, which these people overly invested, you know, invested in it. You know, I caught the game and all that other stuff, you know, brothers and stuff like that. But even then, it's just like, do we even really want to even be in the midst of that bullshit for real? Because it's, it's really chaotic. You know what I'm saying? I was like, let's get the fuck out of here. But regardless of it, these people, man, it just, it's just no order. All right. But anyway, this is the book of First Timothy 5. Yeah, I'm going to start at verses. Uh, uh, yep, 14. It says here. I will, it says, I would therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion of the adversary to speak reproachfully. That's right. That's the job. You read that to him. I'm t I had one chick tell me, she was like, man, I ain't. She said, I am marriage material. I said, well, where is her child's father? The fucking kid was seven months. <laughs> this chick was young, right? She's about like 21, 22. Young chick. This bitch. Got pregnant by the child's father and didn't even want to be with him. I'm like, the fuck he is? He, she said, oh, he wanted to be with me, but now he ain't trying to be with me. I said, yeah, because you played too many games. You could have been married. Now your kid got to grow up fatherless all because of your fucking pride and your whoredom. Because you want to be a prideful ass demon. So now the kid has to grow up without a father now because you don't, you didn't want to be with that one man. You want to have fucking fun. That's why a lot of you women, gonna, you all you women getting ready to die, man straight up that's stupid you know it needs to be the same bitches that come back 20 years later all fat and blown up and wonder why she can't find a man her kid is in the streets being a damn nigga robbing people all because you don't want to have nothing to do with the father because you wanted to have fun so the scripture says she that living in pleasure is dead while she lived but anyway it says i would therefore have the younger women marry and bear children and guide the house and give none occasion of the adversary to speak reproachfully for some have already turned aside out to Satan. That's right. So, a woman are given over to Satan, man. Last precept, Micah 7 to 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? It says, My eyes shall behold her now, she should be trodden down as the mire of the streets, man. So, Micah 7 to 10 is getting ready to come back in a big way. And hey, all these, all, all this shit, man, hey, it's getting ready to, this shit is getting ready to hit ahead, man. But hey, with that, all praises and glory and honor is due to you. How about you? How about you? Lord, will you edify it to the next lesson? Shalom.